Hi, my name is Robbie Samuels. I'm a virtual event design consultant and executive Zoom producer. I help national and statewide advocacy organizations strategically bring their events online with less stress and greater participant engagement. Today, I'm going to walk you through the settings on your computer's Zoom app. To do that, go down to your microphone and click on the up arrow just to the right of it, and then click on audio settings. Once you've clicked on audio settings, this pop-up will appear, and now we'll want to go to general on the top left. On the right, uncheck enter full screen when starting or joining a meeting. Then check always show meeting controls, ask me to confirm when I leave a meeting, show my meeting duration, which is very handy when you're trying to keep track of how long a meeting has gone on, and you can add your app to your menu bar. Down here, you can change your reaction skin tone. Video. I don't recommend doing HD. It just takes up bandwidth and you don't need to see people in HD to have a good meeting. Mirror my video. I actually created a video explaining this, but this will only change what you see. It has no impact on what your participants see. So you can just leave mirror my video on or off. It's really your choice. Touch up my appearance. This is uh, kind of handy. And then always display participant name on videos. This way I don't have to hover over someone's video to call on their name um, if they want to be called on. And then 49 participants, if you have the processing power to do this, I think it's very nice to have more than 25 on your screen for gallery view. Audio, uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume. And then think about whether you want to change your suppressed background noise. I just changed mine to high. So I've got kids, maybe you've got dogs or a loud neighbor. Scroll down here to the bottom. There is some information here about what to do about music, professional audio. And then I like to have the press and hold space key to temporarily unmute. Um, this will only work if you have your cursor in a Zoom window. If your cursor is in your email, for instance, and you press the space bar, it won't unmute you because you're pressing the space bar in your email. But if you have it set up correctly, it's kind of like a walkie-talkie. It can be very handy during meetings. Go to share screen. This is part two. Earlier, I mentioned to take your um, your Zoom out of full screen when joining a meeting. This is so that uh, window size when screen sharing, maintain current size. Otherwise, it will go full screen mode when someone shares their screen. And uh, that's just because it's out of your control. So have your Zoom the size you want, and this way it won't keep changing. Um, show my Zoom windows to other participants when I'm screen sharing. I don't think this has to be on unless you are also teaching Zoom like I am. Side-by-side -side mode is very handy. When you're watching someone's presentation, it means that on one side of your screen, you'll see their PowerPoint. On the other side of the screen, you'll see them or the gallery view. And then let's see, so there's nothing really to change in chat. I did a video about backgrounds and, uh, and, video and filters. You can use this plus sign if you want to add an image or a video. The filters are here. Studio effects are down here. You can have kind of fun with that and look for the video that I made. Recording. The default is that it'll, all your recordings and your save chat will go to your documents folder to a folder called Zoom by date order. You can change that default if you'd like right here. You can also have choose a location to save the recording after the meeting ends so that each time you'll get prompted to choose where you want to save it. Record a separate audio file for each participant is very handy if you're recording an interview, like I do podcasts through Zoom, through Zoom. really helps with post-production. Optimize for third-party video editor is very handy if you are taking your video files and giving them to a video editor, but I wouldn't leave it on unless you need that because it is going to make your files bigger. And profile, the view advanced features. When you click on this, it takes you to zoom.us settings, and I have a video explaining what settings to enable and disable. Edit my profile will take you to zoom.us, your profile, which is where you would update your display name, etc. And I have a video <laughs> explaining that. Uh, you can always check out your stats, give them feedback, check out the keyboard shortcuts, and then we get to this accessibility one. There is now the option to add closed captions and uh, transcript, and I showed another video how to do that. But up here is where you can change the font size for this closed captioning, if you want them bigger or smaller. And a new feature is that you can also adjust the chat display size, made it 120%. And I have to tell you, it actually makes it a lot easier as a presenter to make notice of what's happening in the chat. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.